So, Marion from Merch Fab. This is going to be part 31 on the mongrel build. And the um, plan for today is to get this thing to the blasters. So, I need to take everything off it, take the exhaust back off, get the subframe back off. And there's a couple of bits I want to cut out on the front just to give it a bit better access for when he's blasting to be able to get into all the uh, little cavities and stuff. And I also want to get rid of this channel so that I'm just left with this outer lip because this is all rusted through and it's all rotten on the uh, seam. So. Drill all these spot welds out, remove this, chop a few bits off. Got a puncher on one of my wheels, so replace that wheel and then we can um, load her up. So this all looks uh, pretty thin and rusted out. So I think what I'll end up doing is cutting this right off at this lip, at that edge there, and then um, remaking a little step all the way around. And um, I'd probably drop it down a little bit and then have the height Drop it down a bit so I've got enough room to put a seal like straight on top. So I'll have a, a rather than have a seal that slots in like that, it will just slot onto straight onto a lip but be a bit lower. So the boot will seal onto that. I think that's probably going to be the easiest way to get rid of all this. Because this this seam is going to be all rusted uh, where these two panels join. So I just I'll leave it on there for now and uh, we can look at that later. But there's a couple of bits. Don't know what's going on with the camera. Looks like I've got some fog in the workshop. Don't know what the hell's going on with that. But I want to cut this out so that he can blast right down into this pillar. And I'm going to cut a little bit more of this out so he can get right up into the uh, pillar as well. down ready to get trucking. We are here. She's in. He's going to uh, prime it for me as well, rather than uh, you know leaving it over the weekend with uh, no paint on it. Best just to uh, prime it. Next time you see that, it will be completely blasted. All the rest will be gone. And it'll be all grey and primered. What is that? It's a new 
New Year's Day. Happy New Year to everyone. I just uh, picked the mongrel up from the blasters. And um, yeah, it looks pretty good. I was expecting it to uh, uncover a load of a load more horrendous rust holes, but it actually looks really good underneath. trucking back and then we can unload it and I'll show you uh, show you what it looks like but just thought I'd use this uh, drive home to chat about um, you know where things are going with uh, the channel and stuff like that and how it's gone up until this point of, of trying to do it full time and um, yeah, it's, it's gone. It's gone pretty well. Um, I haven't got to the point where I can just rely on YouTube as an income yet, and that was the goal to get to by the end of this year. But maybe that was probably a bit unrealistic. Um, it, it's in a really frustrating uh, place where it is because it's not enough to live off but every time I take time away from it to do other work my earnings from the channel just drop so it's like it needs my full time commitment but it's not paying enough to be able to just do that um, but that's just where it is at the minute. I know that it will eventually get past that. But yeah, I know uh, a lot of people seem to think I was mad when I said I wanted to do YouTube full time and not, you know, sort of give up the business that I built up over the last five or six years. But where I was at with that was um, the only way that I was going to progress forward with it was to start employing people and taking on more work and uh, that's just not it just wasn't something that I wanted to do I have done it in the past um, and it just didn't really interest me so you know as a one man band with two hands there's only so far you can go and uh, there weren't really any opportunities from it other than it just staying as it was and I wasn't really getting much out of it other than a lot of hours of work um, whereas uh, with YouTube I mean like the opportunities are endless really you don't know who's watching it and like I really want to travel I'd like to go over to the States do a build over there and possibilities of that are looking like it could happen in the future um, you know I want to show my kids the world and um, just do some other stuff and YouTube has the potential to offer that whereas my old business just didn't really have any other potential other than just to carry on as it was for the next however many years which to me was pretty uninspiring so um, uh, so yeah that's that's why I really want to pursue doing this um, just because it has a lot more to offer and, and I was just bored shitless of doing what I was doing
Here she is. It's uncovered a few bits that I didn't know were there, but um, on the whole, it's uh, actually better than I was expecting. All that is gone, but like I said before, I just cut that off and remake that. Some tidy repairs there. Look at that. What even is it? I was expecting uh, to see quite a lot of holes because this was all covered in thick undersail and um, it all looks pretty good. Good enough for what we're doing anyway. Alright so it's nice to have this back um, I can actually see exactly what is left to do on it and uh, now it's just going to be a big weld-a-thon of uh, going from the front to the back just repairing every hole and sorting bits out so my goal is to have all the metal work on the shell finished by the end of January I think looking at everything that's left to do that's Realistic enough. So yeah, straight back on it tomorrow. I think I'm gonna start with this front, get the front finished, get all these corners finished off and sealed in. But yeah, that's it for this one. Cheers for watching. See you on the next one.